Mike Clegg here, I'm, today I'm down in Chester FC, I'm here to support the Offside Trust, it's a fantastic charity which has been set up to help people who've been through um, sexual abuse and other um, abuses within the football and it's great to be here, uh, we're playing um, a, a football 11, a celebrity 11 against Hollyoaks, so it'll be an interesting game, I think it'll be tough, um, I think the Hollyoaks lads are going to be fitter than the actual ex-footballers to tell you the truth looking around the changing rooms, but we've got some decent players playing, the likes of Danny Murphy, Trevor Sinclair, um, myself, Paul Richubka, so we're going to have a spring round and talk to a few people. So first of all, we've got a good friend of, uh, of ours here who's supporting a trust called um, Jack Sargent, so if you can come over. Jack? Hi sir. So this is Jack, he's um, the youngest politician actually in, in, in Wales, that's right isn't it Jack? Yeah it is, yeah. Uh, youngest politician in Wales, been there for about 18 months now in Cardiff, so uh, looking forward to today though really. So Jack's playing for us and it's going to be an interesting game like we just said, so are you fit, are you ready for the game, are you looking to get stuck in? Yeah we'll definitely get stuck in but uh, we'll see how long we last, but really here just for the cause really, for to support the offside trust and the great work they're doing. Um, it's all about them today and, and that's what we'll do. Exactly, hopefully we'll get a good turnout, maybe 500 have paid already online, maybe up to a couple of thousand coming today, so it's a great um, opportunity to really make the awareness of the, of the trust out there in the, in, in the public and help to try and get funding, helping to really um, help young people and older people um, who've been through abuse, so it's something which is deep in your heart, eh? Yeah, it is, I mean, I brought it up in the Senate Chamber in Cardiff um, last week, uh, I'll be continuing to do it with the work of the Offside Trust uh, going forward, but you're right, it's about the survivors who, who've been victims of abuse, but also making sure it doesn't happen again, um, and it's people like this who work with the Offside Trust who are going to make that happen, and I'm happy to support in any way I can. Well, it's brilliant that you're doing it, and you're a very young politician, and uh, I don't know what the history of politicians are playing football, is there, is there anybody out there in the Houses of Commons who, who are regular football players, do you know? Uh, not that I know of, no, I, I, I did watch uh, a homeless charity match with Andy Burnham, Steve Rodham, uh, uh, last year, so they're the only two I know. So hopefully, uh, I can put a shift in today and do all right. Yeah, excellent. So, really, thanks for coming down. I can't imagine um, Theresa May or Jeremy Corbyn play. That'd be a good little crunch tackle, wouldn't it? I imagine it'd be a good 50 50, so we'll see. Exactly, yeah, great stuff. Chance, Enjoy, Jack. See you in a bit. Okay. So, we're going to speak to Jamie Lee Hill, who's, um, well, we're going to get introduced to him properly and officially. He's got the ball in his hand. He looks like a, a former athlete. <laughs> Hiya, Jamie. Hiya. I'm Mike, Mike Clay out to me, ex Man United really player. Good with it, then. Yeah. I'll leave you two with Thanks, man, you player, and um, just doing a little oh, thing yeah. for the trust in for my own YouTube channel. So, you know, thank you for coming down to the game yeah. today. And uh, did you play a bit in the past yourself? Uh, just at the bottom of the pyramid. Excellent, like, yeah. As a goalkeeper. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Who yeah. which team was that? Yeah. Uh, Downton in the Wessex League. Excellent, yeah. But, uh, but mostly like, some Saturday, Sunday stuff. Yeah. So you always had a passion for football. Oh yeah, yeah. Big Chester fan. Chester, uh, is your actual Chester fan. I grew yeah. up in Chester. Right. Okay. Uh, so I've been seeing them since about 84, 85, okay. seeing road days. Nice. Back before, you know, before they're even here. Wow. And obviously you transitioned to a, into a career as an actor, so, yeah, yeah. you know, so tell us some of your films you've been in and... Uh, uh, the, yeah. the biggest one I'm known for, I guess, is Far From The Madden Crowd. Right. Uh, but yeah, I do all sorts of roles. Who Killed Nelson Nutmeg. Right. Uh, World War One film called Eleven recently. Wow. Um, and there's one out at the moment called Acceptable Damage, which is... Uh, Real gritty social drama. Of okay, course, so acceptable so damage, copper. guys. You know, what are you, sorry? Yeah. I play a nasty copper in it. Nasty copper, he's got that yeah, edge yeah, about, hasn't he? He's got a little edge. Kind of lazy, you know. A lazy, nasty <laughs> copper, you know. So, listen, yeah. um, so you, are you playing in goal then today? Uh, are you, you playing yeah, out? Yeah. 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 Well, yeah. you big lad, hopefully save some goals for us, yeah. and I uh, look forward to I'll, I'll, I'll be playing right back, hopefully, so yeah, you'll nice be able one. to fling it out yeah. to me. Really nice to meet you. I lost my voice a bit yesterday, Shannon, because I was watching the Chorley game. Oh, okay. Did they win? Nil-nil. Nil-nil, okay. It's all right. All right. Yeah, so I just got to the um, halfway line. I just bumped into three um, great friends, really, people I've known for a few years. And um, we've got Neil Wayne Wright. Neil, how are you doing, sir? Good, mate. Yourself? Neil, believe it or not, used to be at Sunderland. And obviously, I've just been at Sunderland for 12 years myself. He was there the, the great times of Peter Reid and Niall Quinn. And um, just back then, just tell us how good that was. You got promoted from the championship. Yeah, it was class. I mean, I mentioned to you before, I mean, when we won a championship, the open top bus tour was unbelievable. Almost a couple hundred thousand yeah. people turning out from Sunderland. It was uh, it was amazing. Like, and 
Kevin Phillips back then, I think he got European Golden Boot, which is a phenomenal feat, which I think people forget nowadays, unbelievable. Yeah, incredible times, you know, for, to be there at that time, I mean, I was there at a good time with the likes of Roy Keane in the last 12 years being in the Premier League, but that was the, that was a glory days for Sunderland, and that was a great time, and my family are still from Sunderland now, and my two children today, instead of coming watching me, they've gone down to Wembley to watch them play at Portsmouth, so good luck, lads, I hope you win that and get promoted this year, Jack Ross is doing a good job there, yeah. and the new ownership, I don't know if you're still keeping an eye out for Sunderland much yourself. Yeah, definitely, I mean, they've drawn a lot of games this year which has killed them a little bit but they've got a few games in hand so they've got a chance still to potentially go up automatically or at least by the playoffs so. yeah and obviously look how fit he's still looking he's now a coach at Morecambe under 18s aren't you and yeah. we've got a very good mutual friend Neil Bailey Neil Bailey was on the show recently on my show we were just talking about the PFA yeah. talking about his time at Sunderland and the, and the coach he's brought through the likes of um, Stephen Gerrard and many others so you, you have a lot of nice words to say about Neil yeah he's top man is Neil he's I mean, put me through my uh, my coaching badges and he works a lot with our young kids um, and he's as I know he's done a lot with Steve Gerrard with his badge when he was over there yeah. uh, helping him out guiding him through his qualifications but yeah he's, he's always a, a top man to know isn't he because he's, he's always really helpful and, and, and knows a lot of people and knows his football more importantly as well yeah. and we've got Roger Giggs here never met Roger before but obviously I know his brother reasonably well so Roger are you playing today? yeah if selected if selected yeah <laughs> So have you got that turn of pace? Uh, used to, yeah. and played for a bit. So. But you used to play yourself yeah, back in the day, didn't played, you? I played semi-professional, yeah. Very good, very good. So I do do a lot of stuff for charity, out and about. Why are you away for the offside trust then? I should have played last year, and uh, unfortunately I played for another charity side, so I played on that day. But okay. yeah, I was free this day. Yeah, yeah so last, so. last year it was at Curzon Ashton. Um, I'm the ambassador for Curzon Ashton and Termside Health and Wellbeing Ambassador. So it's great that Rodri's here today and um, I'm glad he's on my team because if he's got that change of pace like his kid, I'm sure he'll, he'll be you know, scoring goals. And uh, got my new friend here today, yeah. so introduce yourself and tell, 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 tell people what you, you, you're an actor. Uh, yeah, I'm Simon Lennon, I'm an actor. Uh, most work I've done is in a series called Our Girl, which is a British Army series for BBC One. So I have lived sort of in London for a while and moved back up north recently, so was really keen to get involved. And when I was asked to play for the Offside Trust today, I snapped up the chance. Like, it's a really important cause, a really important day, and hopefully raise a lot of awareness and a lot of money. Brilliant. You're a young lad, and he's obviously got the great heart, like he says. How old are you? 25. 25, so I'll be passing the ball, you'll be getting up and Shit. down the pitch, because all us lads are in our 40s, you know, it's going to be a nightmare. <laughs> well, I've slowly moved back in the pitch, I used to be a centre forward, then I moved to centre mid, now I'm a centre half, so <laughs> I've gotten slower over the time, but we'll see how I get on. Excellent, well, it's really nice to meet you, yeah, and thanks too, for mate. coming supporting the Trust, and I uh, wish you all the best in your sort of acting career. Cheers, man. Nice okay, you, man. nice. Wow, see, these glasses Everton, we're very close to Liverpool here. Uh, I live in Sunderland, the furthest place possible from Everton. How are you doing, sir? I'm okay, I'm okay. Yeah. Doing well, yeah. So th this is your family? <laughs> yeah, me, uh, me little lad Thomas and our Evelyn. And I think they're just more happy to see Speedo Mick than uh, their own dad. Exactly, well they will be, won't yeah, they? Yeah. Well, it's not often you see people running around the football pitch dressed like that, is there? Well, when you go to Goodison all the time, that's who you see all the time. Yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> So you're obviously here to support the Offside Trust and tell us your history and about this um, charity. Well I got involved in it two and a half years ago when yeah. it was first set up. So from day one I've been involved in it and without them, uh, yeah, they're just great, great help. There when you need someone, yeah. if you're going through a bad time, they're always there and putting on days like this just helps you forget kind of what's happened and stuff yeah. like that to survivors and it just, yeah, just a great occasion and that's what it's all about isn't it? you know more recently it's all been about you know people got to be aware of the issues which have been happening in football and issues which are happening in schools and all types of areas of, of abuse and also racial abuse so this is just another um, charity which is really trying to get the right message out to the general public because it's it's not something what should be hid away but something brought out to light to stop this happening in the future yeah well that's it it's not just historical we keep hearing the word historical yeah and yeah, it's not historical. No. Uh, so it is raising awareness, getting the word out there, and yeah, it's just, you know, it can only be good. Exactly, this is a great occasion, there's a lot of good people come out for the cause, and really nice to meet yeah. you, really nice, have a great day, you look too. after yourself. I will do. I will. Thank you. Yeah, so, again, it's really, really interesting, and um, it was just great to be here. So we'll see where else we can find, we'll go into the changing rooms and have a look, see what's happening in there. Yeah, so we're just in the tunnel here down at Chester, so we're about to, just to get ready, get dressed, uh, so we'll go into the change room, see who's knocking around, see if anybody else have a little conversation with the camera, and just uh, get a feel for the place. Through, through the, all 
Lord Chambers of the Inners of Chester City. There's my mate, Trevor Sinclair. How are you, Trev? Very well. We'll have a chat looking, later. Yeah, looking to get some tips off this man. Trev's asked me. Trez asked me to do some S&C stuff with him. He, he needs to train me, by the way. He's fit as a yeah, fiddle, by the way. Yeah, himself. Yeah. <laughs> so this is the place Trevor Sinclair Rooms. Just for the camera, just um, to introduce a few yourselves, just um, why we're here. Basically, it's a great, um, it's a great trust, offside trust. We try and obviously bring up the um, highlighting of abuse in football and how it needs to be cut out and being awareness for you know everybody in the public. You know, it's something to be spoken about. So ourselves are all playing this game today. So just within the room, you just because I don't know everybody's name, so I do apologise. So we've just got names. I'm Paul Richards up from Wolves. I'm Ryan Clayton. I was in Corrie. Nice, like it. <laughs> I'm George, I'm a sports broadcaster. Good lad. James, uh, the apprentice, big brother, a few bits and bobs. Good. Best looking dressing room, obviously. <laughs> Second best looking at me. <laughs> what was it, Kevin? I'm shit, I've been caught with my pants down. <laughs> Again? Yeah, I'm very lucky. I do some uh, gangster TV films and stuff and social media comedy stuff. Nice. I'm Paul Manners and I was on Britain's Got Talent. Uh, Lee Jones, I was six times World Cup boxing champion and now oh, kicking punch people. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Jamie Lomas, Hollyoaks, Eastenders, I'm a celebrity. Here today for a great cause and smash Hollyoaks, hopefully. <laughs> <laughs> I'm yeah. 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 Yes. I'm Dan Bates, so I help the offside trust with their marketing in the website. That's fine. Rob Edwards, ex pro, teammate of uh, Steve, Steve Walters, so yeah, good cause. We've got six. Dane Hooper, ex professional, friend of Steve Waters. Are you a good team, you know? Good. Yeah, yeah. Glad, yeah. thanks so much for that. I'm yeah. looking forward to seeing you on the pitch with you and we'll kick the Ollie Oaks' asses, eh? Thanks, yeah. Thanks, lads. Cheers, yeah, so that just shows the quality of the people we've got in. It's absolutely brilliant for the offside trust. I want to say, you know, welcome to Steve Walters, Andrew Rusko for putting this on. And hopefully you enjoy the game. And there's a couple more people we're going to speak to afterwards, like Paul Chukka and also uh, Trevor Sinclair. So, great stuff.
Well done. But, um, it's a good game, but I think fellas are enjoying that. Yeah, well, yeah. Great game, well, that's a game. Where was the player playing football yourselves? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Decent yeah, players, yeah. these two, by the way. Really enjoying it, so well, thanks, Phil. Enjoy the second half. Oh, Cheers. Yeah. Cheers. Have a kiss. You all do what? You're doing this. No, I said look at this. Did you get that? <laughs> so, so that's 3 1 to Hollyoaks. Yeah. To be fair, them lads up front, I just did an interview with them, they're, they're good players then. So, so I'm just here with Paul Vitrupka. Paul, thanks for joining us. So Paul played in net there first half and um, taking us back to our playing days, back at Man United. I've got, I've got, what year was that when you was at United? I joined, what, class of 97. Class so, of 97, yeah. Yeah, yeah, so it was like a long, long time ago. Well, you played first team, didn't you? Yeah, yeah, played in 2001. Excellent. So, first team debut. Well, 2000, the World Club Championship, but yeah. Premiership debut, 2001. So, a long time ago now. But, uh, yeah, really enjoyed it, getting back out on the pitch and uh, finished up about six months ago. October time and then gone and got a proper job so yeah so Paul obviously 2001 Man United not long after the treble he was there in the reserve team youth team I played with him always had a brilliant attitude but he's had a really long and successful career so recently he's retired um, and you played hundreds and hundreds of games with the leagues didn't you how yeah, many, yeah, how many so games did you have well I played in the World Club Championship at the top top of the thing and yeah. I played right at the bottom we were bottom of the league with Accrington wow. literally bottom of the table February yeah. it's freezing cold you're going up to Accrington every day and you're like wow, we need to win to stay up because this means everything to the club and it was like a different pressure altogether. Yeah. So to see everything, to get promoted from League 2 to League 1 to Championship all the way to the Premier League with Blackpool, it was uh, a great journey. And like, you know, journeyman probably was true, but, you know. The great thing about Paul, though, listening to that story, is all that um, information, all them different um, experiences had and if you took on board and that was Paul's transitioning from a player to normal life and trying to find yes who scored yeah so what's the day you ready with their second of the afternoon 3-2 now there's Delia Adebola just scored there which is great news but again it's a very difficult one now we're at offside trust talking about um, you know, abuse within football, but also one of the biggest things within football is the transition from being a player to normal life. And this is something me and Paul are talking about a lot. It's something which I had to deal with, you know, 15 years ago. But I transitioned into um, a passion of mine, strength and conditioning, sports science. Where Paul, for yourself, now you're transitioning into maybe um, areas that you're very much into mental health. You was even saying you're just on a mental health first aid course, aren't you? So, yeah, yeah. Well, what's the future for yourself? And what is it about giving back and also carving out a new career? trying to take those skills that you practiced out there on the pitch and put them to good use so for me it's organizing I'm a goalkeeper I make sure the people in front of me are doing their jobs are in the right positions at the right time and that stops a goal and it's like well how does that transfer into the business world how can I use those skills and be part of that team again we were you know taught discipline by Sir Alex one right, of the best, yeah. like one of the best bosses that I've ever worked for and for a reason it was important that you were there on time that you did you know understood your role did your job and we're nearly going to score again. Uh, well, they're doing much better now being Paul off, so that's yeah. excellent. <laughs> <laughs> uh -oh. So, uh, but no, it's just those. It's just understanding when you can apply them. Say, meeting, catching up with Cleggy, understand what he's doing, how we can help each other, and keep that, you know, that family that we developed growing up together, and really uh, take it forward and see what uh, opportunities arise from that. That's brilliant. You know, there's big, there's big statistics out about football players once they retire. So either 85 percent of them either get divorced or go bankrupt so it's something you know at what point of your career should you start thinking about that transition is it where is it before you even join as a yt as, a, as an apprentice is it whilst you're um doing your um first second third and fourth year professional career you know it might, it might be different stages different leagues so again it's something we want to put forward you know it's something people should be thinking about and preparing because when you do actually change career and you go move away from football you miss that buzz that change of room banter it can be difficult so Paul I just wish you all the very best Thanks, in your future and let's keep um, supporting the offside trust and keep supporting that transition we're going to have a wander down to the bench we'll try and speak to the two managers of Chester we've been our managers today Bernard and Anthony see what they have to say up, cheers. Good, good. 
I know, not me, have we? Rubbish, I was terrible, I was terrible, I was rubbish, I was rubbish. Come here, let's go. Come here, man. Where's your partner in crime? Where's he? Cold. So, do you have the manager today for the game, you, uh, your buddy? So, how's it going so far? What score is it now? 3-2? 3-2 three, two. Three, two down. Uh, What's your thoughts on what you've seen? Uh, we've lacked legs, but you know, we've done alright. We've competed with a side that we've played together for a long time. So, And it's all about enjoying it today, isn't it? Yeah, it's all about enjoying it. Offside trust. I mean, they've been, you know, they're quite good, aren't they, to be fair? The lad up front, number nine, sharp. Oh, you can be everyone for me running. I used to be fast, so he's not bad. So, uh, but in general, it's been good fun, and it? it's been in good spirit. You got some decent people out here. Yeah, I mean, Mother's Day is one of them. You know, you want to spend that day with your mum if, she, if, if she's here, and, and I think it's obviously a good call today. Turn up in and, uh, and enjoy it. It's been good fun. So, at half time, do you not feel like giving any pretty rough a blast? I'm thinking Danny Murphy, maybe Trevor Sinclair, they not need a little bit missing a penalty. Yeah, they're all blaming the surface. Is that what they say? Probably. You know what pros are like? They're always the same. There he is. There he is. I'm That's not hiding. I'm not hiding. But two minutes from you, what's your synopsis of the game so far? They don't even know what score is as manager. Oh, he's playing someone else. Yeah. Good save. Good save. Thanks a lot. Thank you. Thank you. We have a little look to you on the bench. Can I have a little teammates with you? Oh, excellent. So here I am. So, famous man. Yeah, just on the screen there. So, just tell me about yourself. What have you been up to? What's new? What, 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 what are you working on at the moment? Walters, we're here to Obviously Stephen Walters is a very famous actor. My missus, my missus Laura up there, she she said she, she's got to have a picture with him at the end. Cause and she, she, uh, she paid him to say that. She did, honestly, she's up there, she's looking down now. We're, so all, we're all here to support the offside trust, um, Steve Walters. Great day, great occasion. Um, it's a privilege to be here. It's brilliant, I was, I've played the first half where you come on left wing. Yeah, yeah that was dangerous on the left there, got two touches, one went out of play. <laughs> And the other was a missed volley, but apart from that, it was a great game. Yeah, it was nice to be part of it, like you said. So, um, really appreciate the interview. So, what were you working at the moment? And, and obviously, people know who you are and some of the famous roles you've done. Uh, Thing to come out is a new show on ATV called Anne. Watch out for that with uh, Maxine Peake and myself. Okay. We play uh, Anne Williams and Steve Williams. It's about her story, the Hillsborough. Okay. So that's the next big that comes out in summer this year, I think. Okay, and so there's another football related su subject then. Yeah. It's about Hill uh, Anne Williams' campaign for justice. Yeah. You know, the, the offside trust is about justice, so there's a link. Definitely. Brilliant. Well, we wish all the very best for that, Sean. Thank you very much, Steve. Thank you, Brilliant. Thank Cheers. You. So I'm here with Kat. Um, Kat was the referee in the first half. So thanks for joining us, Kat. So did you enjoy the half? Oh, absolutely. Yeah, I love getting involved in things like this. I love the banter with the lads. Yeah, it's very fun. Yeah, it's obviously for the offside trust. A great um, organisation set up for awareness of, of abuse in football. But when we was playing there, there's a few hefty tackles knocking around, and I was involved in a few of them. <laughs> and you actually give a foul on one of them, which was never a foul for a bit of an eye foot. Foul. Exactly, but you 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 <laughs> you've sweared it up afterwards because you give a, a penalty to us for something very similar, didn't you? Yeah, I did. Yeah. So, uh, are you refereeing in the, in the league at the moment? Are you yeah. building your way up the ranks? So, um, I referee in the women's national league. I'm on the line on the championship, and I run the line on the northwest counties in the men's game. Excellent. Yeah, very involved. So, is that like your full-time job then? No, no, no? no I've got full-time job as well. So, you're actually in the championship in the, as in, in like, the uh, league, yeah, the excellent. League. Oh, with the women's team. Okay, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. So I do quite a bit of work for MUTV at Leaf Sports Village. Oh, okay, that's yeah. where the Man United ladies. Do, have you yeah. ever done the Man United ladies? I'm not allowed to do Man United ladies because I've got a season ticket old traffic. Is that what it is? So you're a big United fan? Yeah, yeah. Excellent, big United fan here. Thank you. Yeah, brilliant. Yeah, so um, no, my show is on um, the Mike Clay YouTube channel. Oh, and I used to play for Man United. Okay. So I always interview um, Man United guests in general. Yeah. So like the Quinton Fortune, yeah, Dwight yeah. York. Um, 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 Wes Brown and, and the physios and psychologists and around that so it's great to have a, a referee, professional referee, female, um, who's a Man United fan as well. So what's your thoughts on um, ladies, refereeing, the, the sort of inequality of the past, but it's, it's getting squared up now, there's more and more getting involved in the game. Is. I think with the rise of women's football at the moment, the way the Lionesses are playing in Europe, in the World Cup, in the European Championships, I just think it's, it's raising awareness for the women's game, but getting young people involved as well. I'm heavily involved in um, tutoring female referees, um, mentoring them once they get into the game and bringing them along. And I, I just think it's a, it's a growing thing. Um, the, the better the Lionesses do, the better the awareness of the women's game and the, the more people that want to get involved. Yeah, and that's brilliant. Not just even playing football, but general health and well-being in society. 
obviously I know Phil Neville really well, he's the manager of the England ladies team and they seem to be doing a really good job. Um, a long may that like, continue because obviously that's inspiring the next generation of young girls and young ladies to play football so and you're a part of that so wow some big tackles going in here. Whoa. So thank you very much, um, it's been brilliant, thank you. Right, I was just back in the bar after the game. Um, I played the first half. It was 2-1 at half time, and um, second half it was, it was a difficult game. Brilliant to have um, Ashley Ward with me here. He's, um, he watched the game. He wanted to play himself, but you've had a, a bit of an operation on your eye, haven't you, Ashley? And yeah, just just a minor surgery on my eye, but just went I couldn't play in this game. It's just a shame I played last uh, last match, and it was uh, I really enjoyed it. And uh, he did great first half there. It was hard work. I know that. A few with the legs about him still. Well, yeah. 41, so they've got a little bit of legs, but we needed you up front to hold it up and maybe score a few goals. But you know, watching the game, it was great fun. It was all about the offside trust, and um, it was great to. Um, create awareness for um, the abuse what's happened in football over the years it's something you know, with more awareness it's going to get stamped out so it's a great cause yeah it's a great cause obviously um, I played in a team you know a lot of the lads that played in the same team with the sort of uh, Barry Brunel era if you like um, you know severely affected by it so you know it's, it's close, something that's close, close to me and I, I know a lot of the lads involved and um, yeah anything we can all do to help them is uh, something I feel like we should all do whenever we can because it's, uh, it's a great cause and it was a great day to be honest and um, you know if we can raise awareness and do some good at the same time and that's what good. that's what it's all about yeah there's a good turnout by the local crowd which was great and the game itself it was, uh, it was interesting and it was fun like you said and I think it ended up being something like 12-4 I don't even know the score properly but who stood out for you you know first half it was Danny Murphy and um, Trevor Sinclair played but I, I think the goalkeeper second half was fabulous yeah, eh? I thought the goalkeeper did really well made some good saves in fact both keepers of both teams you know, yeah. uh, uh, did, did well um, some good players in the Hollyoaks team, but I um, thought uh, it was a little bit trouble we played up for Yeah, yeah. Yeah, he still, still had a bit about him. A uh, great goal from Daly, one of them. I used to play with Daly at the crew years ago, and uh, obviously uh, Trevor Murph there in the middle, you know. So it was, it, was, you know, it was great to see the old players and uh, great to see some familiar faces for himself. Yeah, exactly. Hollyoaks were very good and they quite rightly won the game. And them players you just mentioned, it's great that they're willing to take the time out, you know, on Mother's Day, on a Sunday to be down here. So respect to them. Yeah, yeah, a lot of respect to, to the lads there, and uh, I know, you know there was a lot, lot, lot there last year as well, and um, I'm sure we'll continue to support it because it's something that uh, means a lot to, to a lot of ex-footballers. So. Well, next year, hopefully I'll be playing again, and hopefully you will oh, be playing Ashley. Play definitely. Well, yeah. thanks for doing the interview. Really no appreciate problem, it. No thanks a lot. Thanks Cheers, buddy. Thank you. Well, it's been a brilliant day here at Chester. Um, we had a kick-off at half past two. It was all Hawks against the Offside Trust team. And the game was great, but it wasn't about the game. I think the game was 7-3. Um, all the Oaks have obviously got a few ringers in there. I think they play a lot of games together. And the offside trust lads, you know, we've all just been bungled together a little bit. But we had some great lads playing. Um, the likes of Lee Trundle, um, Trevor Sinclair and Danny Murphy. Plus all the famous stars. And most of them I can't remember the names, to tell you the truth, because I don't really watch um, all these shows. But ultimately, there's been some great guys in here and throughout the rest of the interview what you've seen you know you'll be able to see all their names and people who really is giving something from their heart to a cause which is really really worthwhile so this is from Chester this is to just to put an end to what has been a great day something which I've, I've I want to do more as we get part of charities give back you know life's been great to me so giving back is brilliant so well done to the Offside Trust and um well done to everybody who took the time out, fans as well, and even all the cleaners now we've put everything away. It's been an amazing day to be a part of, and um, thank you for joining us on the show, and I look forward to maybe seeing you in the future. Brother, tell me how can I survive When I can see the world through troubled eyes Oh, Father, show me where this road will lead Cause I can never learn